Good evening. I'm Rochelle Riley, and I'm the media. <laughs> we have not always been good boys and girls over the past few years, but I'm here to bring you good news tonight that's going to change. I can tell you two things. One is there is no such thing as fake news. If it's fake, it's not news, and the stories that we're going to start telling from now on will have to do with the people who are doing what you do here tonight, and that's about service and public service. I have to tell you, I'm so excited to be in the same room as Patty Murray. And I just recently took a buyout from the Detroit Free Press so that we could stave off layoffs, and we have no involuntary layoffs. So I won't be writing my column, but that means that if Senator Coons decides to run for president, I could work on his campaign. <laughs> Shirley Chisholm, the late, great Shirley Chisholm, said that service is the rent we pay for the privilege of living on this earth. I like to say that service is something the Lord made, so we know that we deserve to continue to be on this earth. I can tell you that you don't hear service and media in the same sentence, the same paragraph, the same page most times. Uh, and there's a reason for that, because the journalism industry hit a fork in the road and it could focus on the business of journalism, or it could focus on public service. And it decided to focus on the business of journalism, and that was a mistake. So when the corporations and hedge funds have killed all the newspapers, and the internet has killed all the broadcast networks, and we decide that it's time for us to get back to being public servants and public service providers, and we will do that, then we will start to take back our industry and we will write stories about Friday night light football games and paper boys who don't miss a beat and city councils and what they do for us. And we will all of a sudden have the right kind of service from journalism that we deserve. I know that my colleagues don't always agree with me, but that is real public service. And that's what journalism used to be. I've never been to this event before, and I have to thank, literally, my friends at City Year and Andrew Stein, who is sitting here at the table with me. I'm Andrew's secret weapon, although it's not that secret, because anything that City Year needs in Detroit, they get. I make sure of it. And I'm so grateful that they nominated me for this award. Thank you for what you do when we all realize that what we do as public servants for our communities and our children is the most important thing we won't have any problems. Thank you.